Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. All right, it's a nice looking night outside. Another warm August summer evening across the area. We've got one more day of heat and humidity before finally we get in on some much needed relief and a break from what has been a pretty monotonous, warm and humid summer so far with very little breaks in humidity. That's going to change though. All right, let's look outside here this evening. Temperatures, most of us hovering right close to 80 degrees at this point. A few of you are down down into the upper 70s. It's going to be another uncomfortably warm night across the area. Check out radar now. The shower Showers and storms from earlier are gone. We were keeping track of a few sprinkles and showers down across the southern parts of Adams County to the east of Maysville, but now those are gone as well, and it should be quiet through the remainder of the night. All right, it's 76 degrees right now at the airport. We do get ourselves a south wind at five at this hour. Just about everyone generally hovering between about 75 and 80 still. 78 up there in Springboro and Mason, 76 in Hamilton. Peebles at 75, oh, 75 in Florence, 78 down there around Carrollton tonight. Temperatures aren't going to fall all that much overnight tonight because of the high levels of humidity. So most of us will drop back into the low 70s for overnight lows. And then for tomorrow, again, expect it to be the hottest day of the week. I think afternoon heat indices could approach about 97, 98 during the peak heat of the afternoon. So take it easy tomorrow. Afternoon highs will climb their way into the low 90s. And a good part of the day will be dry before we see any chance for showers or storms to creep in. Here's what we're keeping an eye on tonight. This is what's going to bring in the cooler, less humid weather for the weekend and break the stubborn weather pattern, or at least offer us a few days reprieve from heat and humidity. That's the cold front that will arrive here early Saturday morning, late tomorrow night. So here's a look at future cast. Nothing to really show you overnight tonight. There may be some patchy areas of fog where we had a few of those showers earlier today and then maybe some low clouds overnight, but those should burn off pretty quickly. It's going to get hot in a hurry tomorrow. Hot sunshine will break through and then it looks like tomorrow afternoon and evening. And now if you were watching at five and six, future cast really wasn't doing too much of a good job on picking up on that cold front, but you can see now on the latest runs and I'm not surprised here. I expected this to happen. It's finally picking up on the threat for thunder. Thunderstorms. I do think late tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow night. We'll have to watch the timing, but if you have Friday night plans, there's certainly the potential for some gusty thunderstorms to come through here with the heat and humidity of the afternoon and evening. And then that looks like that will continue probably through midnight with scattered storms. And then by the time you're up on Saturday morning, that drier, less humid air should be filtering into the area. And it is really going to be a nice feeling weekend temperature wise. So 72 for a low tonight, partly cloudy and muggy. Again, there could be some areas of patchy fog out there. And then tomorrow, hot sun with afternoon and evening thunderstorms. Right now, the timing looks best for probably after five or six for those storms to get in here. We'll fine tune that. But again, I wouldn't be at all be surprised if a few of them had some strong winds with them. So that'll be something to watch for. 92 for your afternoon high. Here's your day planner. 74 at 8 a.m. Lunchtime will already be near 90 and into the low 90s for the afternoon hours. Here's your seven day forecast. You can't beat mid 80s for highs. The first week of August here with overnight lows in the mid 60s and what you can't see on there, a big break in humidity. So 87 will really feel comfortable. So will 86 on Sunday. All right, Kevin, thank you. Xavier University is about.